Hey guys, my name is Ismas, and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip. And today we're going to be looking at how you can make grass in Blender 3.8 using images, uh, as you can see here. And uh, the great thing about this trick I'm going to show here is that you can even paint your own grass like this in any shape you want. You can even remove what you have painted yeah so let's get started and uh, show you how this works so let me open up a new blend file here yeah and uh, let's get started so I'm going to start by creating a plane uh, that is going to be our landscape I uh, just to have a somewhat interesting surface to render our grass on so I'll subdivide this a few times Maybe make it even larger. So divide this a few times and I use uh, the displacement modifier with a cloud with a, a cloud type clouds uh, texture. Just scale it down a bit to around there. Uh, just to have an even surface uh, to distribute our grass. And uh, we can go to the shading shading tab because we're going to finish everything from there now, from now on. And now uh, we can start making uh, the grass. So you can go to Google and download some PNG images uh, with uh, transparency, and then add plane like this, and then give it a new material. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it this as grass and uh, bring in my image I it needs to have alpha channel but uh, I'll show you another way to uh, use an image without uh, alpha channel but uh, for this let's get one with alpha channel and then connect uh, the alpha the alpha output to the alpha input and then the color uh, to the base color uh, like that uh, right now you will only see something like this how uh, the black background uh, this is because if you're using Eevee you need to hit in in the shading tab or go to the material settings or material settings here yeah. and I uh, should find uh, change the blending mode to alpha blend uh, I should blend away or remove uh, the, the black background and uh, just have uh, this transparent background uh, you can find this option if you're in the shaders option shaders uh, panel under options here you can see the same settings uh, that you have here so you can access them directly here as well uh, so this is what we have for the grass but uh, to make it even look better because right now if you see if you move the camera at an angle like this you will only be seeing a plane uh, like this but so this just select every go to edit mode and select everything shift D to duplicate that face and then rotate it 90 degrees uh, so that we have a face so that we are always seeing something uh, no matter what angle you're looking at and uh, you may notice that uh, this is a kind of shape you see in uh, video games uh, this is how they usually render grass particles they just have two planes are uh, like that like this crossing each other uh, with the same texture uh, so that you can see you can always see uh, a shape from different angles and uh, another thing we can do here is that uh, we need to have the pivot point of this shape at the bottom here so shift select this edge and then shift s cursor selected and origin to 3d cursor so that we have the origin directly there uh, this will help us distribute this grass uh, exactly on the ground on the surface of this ground uh, so let's go and do that uh, so selecting this uh, plane let's go to the particle settings or particle systems and create a new particle system like this uh, change the uh, the type to hair uh, from the meter and uh, under render uh, you want to select render as change the render as to object and then select this as your instance object you can see we have the grass distributed right now they are very small particles but uh, this can work if you just want a uh, kind of a desert type of uh, vegetation or something like that but uh, if you want to increase the size of the grass just increase the scale here or play around Go to uh, turn on the advanced set, advanced settings and uh, go under uh, the velocity and play around uh, with the normal tangent and uh, other things here. You can also play around with the randomization. 
or even if you turn on rotation, rotation here, you can play around with the phase to kind of randomly rotate uh, the grass a bit. Yeah, uh, so if you want to increase the number of particles, you just have to increase the number here. But I found that uh, if you just increase the scale here, you can fairly cover a large surface area uh, with you by using uh, a small amount of particles. But uh, if you don't want it to be that high, you, you will have to increase uh, the particles, uh, the particle count here, the number, the, the number of particles here. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you have a good texture, uh, you can also get away with this. So you just have to set up some lighting here. I'll just go with the sun. I'm not going to add more particles here because because I'm recording and uh, it will slow down OBS. You barely see any uh, movement in my screen. Uh, it will be too laggy. So let's change this to, to sun and uh, let me also give it a slightly uh, warm color. Turn on lights here. Uh, this strength is too much. So I'll switch it to 10. Maybe 20. Yeah, something like that. Now, you're not only limited to using one particle, uh, one uh, type of grass. You can duplicate this and uh, give it a different uh, material and select another image uh, if you have one. If you have a different type of grass, say, let's say we have. Let's go with this so that I can show you how you can use. No, I'll do that for our next tutorial, for different tutorial. I wanted to show you how you can use an image without alpha, uh, but that may take a bit more time, and I don't want to have this uh, go on forever. So let's just use another image with alpha channel. And uh, in the next tutorial, maybe I'll show you how you can you can use an image with alpha, without alpha channel, uh, but uh, achieve the same look. So let's distribute this as well on this plane here. So instead of using um, instead of using uh, as the object as our a particle instance, uh, we are going to use a collection instance. So let me give them a new collection by hitting M, new collection, I'll call them grass uh, collection. Hit OK. And now we can change this from, we can change the render settings from object to collection and uh, select our collection piece. Uh, it's called grass call. You can see now we have some variation in the grass. And uh, if you want to also vary the height, uh, you can just scale the particle system itself or scale it down. I think this dying grass should be, I don't know. I can also randomize other scale here by randomly scaling, by increasing the random, the scale randomness here. So something like that. Uh, again, you can make this even look better by increasing uh, the particle uh, the particle number. But uh, if I do that, OBS will lag too much. You'll barely see anything. Uh, so now let me show you how you can use your... Because right now you're just relying on the particle system to distribute uh, the grass for you. But uh, you can also paint uh, the grass yourself. So the way you do that is that uh, we're going to use utilize the weight system, uh, the weight paint system in Blender. Uh, and the way you do that, you, you just have to go to the, uh, I think it's called object data. Yeah, object data. And then uh, create a new vertex group. And then uh, let's go to edit mode and uh, change the white to zero and assign. Right now, nothing happens. But uh, if you go to particle to sorry to the white uh, to white paint, you can see that uh, uh, we have a white paint of one, and uh, uh, that means that I'm explaining this very weirdly. But uh, so create a, create a group as I created it, and then assign it a weight of zero, and then to have that weight be the weight used here, I just go to the particle systems, and then under uh, I think field weights. No, I've not filled weights under vertex groups. Uh, select the density to be your the group you created. Uh, because the group we created has a has a weight. We assigned it a weight of of zero. Uh, that means that uh, nothing uh, should be 
uh, no, there is nothing here uh, being painted on on the on the surface. So we need to paint uh, the way we want the areas we want uh, the way the sorry the other particles to be distributed. So uh, for that, we just have to go. Make sure you are in paint mode, and then go to the brush settings here, and make sure you your weight now is set to one, uh, because now we are going to be painting. Uh, where we want uh, the grass to be distributed. So if you want to preview uh, the grass uh, that you're painting uh, without this blue uh, gradient, you just have to turn off overlays and now you can see exactly what you're painting like that. Uh, this weird jittering uh, that you see as you're painting is a result of, uh, let me just show you what I mean here. Let me first clear this weight completely. Uh, to clear the weight, uh, let's first turn on overlays. Again, you just have to assign, reassign other weight back to zero, and that will clear it. So the reason you are seeing that jittering is because, uh, let's go back to the particle system. When you paint a spot like that, uh, because of this number, we have painted 1,000 particles in this area. So you are always seeing uh, the number of particles you have here. So if we paint here, uh, this this number of particles will be distributed around uh, our paint brush uh, or our paint stroke. So you can see as I'm painting, let me just show you this uh, at a smaller number. So you can see we have 10 particles. Now, as we paint, uh, those paint part 10 particles have to be redistributed around uh, the path we have just drawn. Uh, if we increase this you can see yeah so that's why you see it jitter like that every time uh, look at that a smiley face uh, if you're still watching here uh, I don't know the story is done but uh, I just find myself doing things I shouldn't be doing but uh, let me see. ah by the way I should have shown you how to subtract so if you want to subtract uh, where you have painted you just have to change your brush from add uh, to subtract and now increase the strength and uh, that should let's increase the width of the radius as well that should uh, remove that now if you want to paint uh, if you want to paint a smiley face you can do that and also your vertex paint will also depend on the, your polygon count so if you want to have a smooth uh, paint or paint stroke uh, you would have to increase your uh, your uh, polygon count so let's go back let me remove this again paint some eyes and uh, smiles yeah thank you for watching uh leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you